Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. Today we're looking at Captain America 698. This is part one of Out of Time by Mark Wade, Chris Samney, and Matthew Wilson. Now back in the 90s, Mark Wade was the Captain America writer. Some of my favorite Captain America books were Mark Wade's, and I was a huge Captain America fan. Always have been. And I have to say, this is the exact opposite of what he did in the 90s. This may be one of the worst comic books I have ever read in my life. And I do not say that lightly. This was Pile of Dog Poo. And no, no, that's an insult to dog poo. This was worse than that. This was... I, I don't know what this was. This was just a hemorrhoid on, on the rear of the comics industry. Th this is barely a comic book. It's an insult to Captain America fans. And it's propaganda piece. This is, I'm, I'm pretty sure, jilted Hillary Clinton propaganda. Like, everything but Russian collusion was mentioned in here. Alright, so let's go through this mess. Uh, the, the story here isn't about Captain America. It's about this lady named Liang, who's the head of some sort of resistance movement. It just happens Captain America's in this book. So it's really about her and her problematic haircut and massive biceps and unknown ethnicity. Apparently her name is Liang, which I assume she's Asian. And there's this little dog guy some reason all these people are mutants nobody knows why it's never explained why all these people have deformities and different 1950s robot looks i don't know this art is horrible it's um this pop art style retro look from the 60s that makes it look like a crappy archie book from 1982 and i i hate it oh i hate it so much so anyway captain america's in the back of this truck some people didn't make it from the rescue effort and he was on ice and they didn't know he was alive in there so he jumps out and kicks a mutie they're like oh you are captain america welcome home and apparently this is supposed to be washington dc but it's a big pile of rubble and there was a nuclear war a bunch of elites have kept him on ice which he was apparently put in a couple issues ago by a guy named rampart and frozen in time yet again because that's never been done before it was done better in 2099 manifest destiny that was a good frozen in time story to kind of round out the 2099 era where captain america comes back he, he had been frozen in suspended animation that time and he's given thor's hammer and he liberates a bunch of people that was a good story this is trash I, I wouldn't put this in the bottom of a cat litter box. So Liang's like, oh, you, you really might be him. Oh my gosh. And then we get this shot of these elites who are, of course, dressed like robber barons. And one guy who looks like a logo with, you know, with the long neck guy with the martini glass. I'm pretty sure that's a corporate logo somewhere. So anyway, everybody is the Monopoly man. And uh, of course, you know, they're all a bunch of evil rich people because rich people are always evil. And of course, they're not explaining very much it's pretty vague really and of course suddenly he's not able to walk right so she has to help him because she's a muscular empowered woman who don't need no man and she's probably lesbian too i don't know uh we gotta hit all the progressive stack while we're at it she's a minority who's tough and rugged with the problem haircut and she takes command of the situation and she doesn't need no man well, she stops Cap from saving some kid whose name is Dinesh. Of course, he's a, a poor minority that has to get killed by the man. And they, they keep Cap from doing anything, even though he's a superhero with a shield that's bulletproof. So anyway, so Cap tells her, don't ever do that again. And she's like, stand down, soldier. Like, she's in charge of him now? When did, when did that ha I looked. I looked back. There's no recruitment here. He doesn't work for her. He does what he wants. He's a free agent, but she she's ordering him around the entire issue. I, I don't get that. I don't know. I wouldn't trust this person. She just stopped you from trying to save people. You're the hero here, Cap. Do something. Nope. Nope. He's a uh, second fiddle in this story. So she tells him about the 40 minute war and how America was nuked by its own missiles by this guy Rampart because of Rampart. This guy, Maximilian Babington, became a king. Cap says, well, he's the guy, Rampart's the guy that froze me. And, uh, yeah, she keeps calling him Bomb Pop. I, I don't know. Is that, is that supposed to be slang? He, it's used, like, seven times in the year. It's really stupid. And they call King, uh, King Babington King Baby, which is stupid. And this is obviously a dig at Trump. Uh, there's a lot of anti-Trump sentiment in here. And, Mark Wade, keep your politics out. Nobody cares, okay? Hillary lost. I'm sorry. I, I don't care. It's It was over a year ago. 
move forward with your life seriously this is not healthy anyway so the elites uh, sometimes get where the letter a to show status okay and then people are branded with y's and z's yet yet i did not see one person branded with a y or z including this liang chick yeah it's everybody's branded but they don't actually have the brands so of course due process he's like nostalgia you know um laws against cruel and unusual punishment of course those are out the window it's a totalitarian regime this is stupid and redundant of course the media state run of course that they've infiltrated everything that's how totalitarianism works cap fought these kind of people before both the nazis and the communists so he would know that this is redundant it's common sense <sighs> so that's when she tells him that you know it's 2025 so i'm not sure where all these mutants came from so suddenly because some of them are clearly more than seven years old. Then we go over to the bad guys and we see this guy with a big handlebar mustache who looks like an 18th century strongman wearing a World War I German soldier outfit talking to some Mo Howard impersonator. <sighs> and this place is called the castle. It's, it's where I guess the White House or something used to be. And this Mo Howard looking guy has to go tell the king that, you know, Rogers got away. And of course they fry him on the spot and we get a cutesy shot of a mutant janitor cleaning up the mess. And yeah, it's hilarious hilarious he he so then uh a drone shows up to nuke some kid and his sister his kid's gonna take his sister to see captain america and cap has to get permission to fight the drone and disable it i don't know why and of course we've got another bomb pop reference then cap beats up some soldiers but one gets the drop on him somehow because, you know, he's not a master tactician or anything. So, thankfully, uh, our hero, Liang, is there to save him with a piece of rebar and concrete, I suppose. It's either that or a giant spoon for shoveling this manure. I'm not entirely clear which. Then Cap poses for the mandatory millennial selfie. Because that won't expose this kid to getting kidnapped by the surveillance state. Yeah, that's stupid. But, you know selfies are mandatory in modern comics buff chick salutes cap and that's when he says we're gonna go get our country back this was tripe absolute tripe it was horrible this is one of the worst comic books i've ever read it is poorly written propaganda it, it's it's a sad state of affairs that mark wade has fallen so far down his political rabbit hole that he can't even write a simple adventure story without shoehorning in some awfully contrived political agenda it's not even well done it's not masqueraded it's very blatantly political <sighs> very angry is how it comes off to me and it's sad too because i like i said i'm a huge mark wade fan from the 90s i liked his work on kingdom come i loved his captain america work which now i have to go back and reread to see if maybe i missed some underlying material or if i was just young and foolish but man this this is really bad i don't know if i would ever buy captain america again i i thought that i i was irritated i stopped reading after really after the death of captain america the first time i really largely stopped reading it i would read some of the bucky stuff when he was captain america that was pretty good but wow this is garbage i heard about what nick spencer did to turning cap into uh, a nazi now they're turning him into something else i don't know i don't know what's going on but this is trash and marvel should be ashamed of itself for publishing this and the paper quality is garbage too like i got fingerprints from reading it so like the the black ink comes off real easily it's real cheap like printer ink like what you get out of your printer it's that type of ink and it comes off this real low-end paper it's I, i'm p paying four dollars for this crap come on you guys this is garbage and, and i hate the art it, it looks like an archie comic it really does only archie comics are were better drawn honestly because at least that's how the characters were supposed to look but i've complained long enough this is garbage don't buy it i i cannot recommend this if marvel doesn't try and do something to write the ship i don't know how these books are going to be salvageable much less the characters and they're eventually the movies are going to die down 
down a little bit and not be as popular so they they need to keep the, the books going in some format to keep it in public awareness but this is not the way to do it this is just this is a mess and they should be appalled at what they're churning out so yeah i'm done thanks for listening to me rant as a long time captain america fan i found this insulting to my intelligence and a waste of four dollars but that'll do it for this one as always thanks for listening and supporting the channel and we hope to see you on the next episode